We were talking about gangs and about what you were going to be when you grew up, and whether that was the biggest problem with the with the. You know. Oh, we were talking about. Um, oh, I asked you who the president of Russia was, yeah. and I thought you said quail. Yeah. Okay. Did you say it again? Who's quail. the president? What? Who's the president of Russia? Quail. Um, do you do you ever worry about is something? Is, is there anything that worries you or frightens you? Like if I'm walking to school, because I hear about kids being snatched and set on fire, you know, that really bothers me, because I have a little sister, and when I walk to school, I have to watch out for, you know, crazy people who might try and do dangerous stuff. That must be awful to have that awareness as you go to school every day. I try not to think about it, but it just always pops up. Um, do you believe in God? Yeah. Tell me what you think God looks like. And when, when people die, what happens to them after death? Well, if they're bad, they will go down. If they're good, they go up to heaven. And what happens when they go up to heaven? They, their soul is, you know, they might be uh, reincarnated and made into a different person. Come back as a different person? Yeah. Okay. Um, is God, you keep saying God is a he. Um, do you think God could be a woman? the way people talk to him. like in church not the way people talk about him. it doesn't sound like it's the sheep okay. um, what have I asked other people I haven't asked them uh, did you ask if anything scares you I can't hear I did oh you did yeah. uh, you're, you're a very intelligent young man thank you I think you'll do very well in life congratulations and good luck to you thank you very much for all What's your name? Thomas. Thomas? Mm -hmm. Oh, you look nice, that little uh, thing is off your face. Mm -hmm. Thomas, uh, do you have any problems with parents? Sometimes. What? Like, um, when I forget to finish my room, or like, when I leave junk around, stuff like that. So why do you leave junk around? Um, because I don't want to pick up my room, it's too hard. And it's easy to get it messy, though. So what do you tell your parents when they say clean it up? Um, I just stay and watch TV. I say, okay, I'll do it. And but I forget um, most of the times. And I bet they remind you most mm -hmm. of the time. Yes. Isn't it? Wouldn't it be just easier to pick it up? Mm -hmm. Now I do that. Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. What's her name? Brianna. Tell me about Brianna. Um, I know her for two years. In kindergarten and first grade, and um, um, I give her stuff like for special days, and like what do you give her? Like a necklace or a bracelet. Yeah. Where do you get the money for the necklace? And the um, my mom buys it. It's like um, this is for girls, little girls. And, um, and then you give it to her. Mm -hmm. And what does she say? She says thanks. Does she wear it? Mm-hmm. That's very nice of, for her to have a boyfriend like you who gives jewelry to her. Does she ever give you anything? Yeah. What? Like, um, for uh, Christmas she gave me a stocking, and um, I don't know what else she gave me. I forgot. And so, you, so you give each other gifts on various days. That's nice. And are you going to get married someday? To her? Mm -hmm. To Brianna? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. How old do you think you'd better be before you get married? Uh, 20. Now you got a little while to wait then, huh? How mm -hmm. old are you now? Seven. How many years is that you have to wait? Sure. 13, actually. Oh. See, that speeds it up for you now, okay? Mm -hmm. You gonna have a lot of children? No. How many children? Two. Two children. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Brianna knows about all this? You've discussed it with Brianna, have you? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now, can you make a funny face into the camera? That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Thank you for talking with us. Okay. Bye. Bye.
Now the horses will figure in this somewhat, so. Okay. Are we really? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about about your horses you have there. Well, um, this is Misty, and there's a book centered around her and a movie, and Margaret Henry wrote the book. It's a pretty good book, and she's a chinkatee pony, and this one is Rob Goblin, and he's a saddlebred, I think. Yeah, it's a saddlebred, an American saddlebred. How do you know so much about horses? Well, I read a lot of horse book, a lot of horse books, and um, I've the little briar horse sheets. There's a lot of I have a lot of those stuffed around my room. So what are what are those? They describe all the horse breeds and stuff. Yeah, they have um, each horse that they make, and they have what the horse's name is if it's got if it has a name. Sometimes what the color is, and always the number. Now, how many of these horses do you have? These models. Um, I'd say about fifty-two. <gasps> that many? Mm -hmm. Do you buy them? Yeah, I buy them and I give them as gifts. It takes a while to buy them, but. Well, what do you mean it takes a while? Well, I get a very small allowance, so it takes how a long time. How small to get is very small? Two dollars. <laughs> a week. Two dollars every two weeks. That is very small. It's a dollar a week, I think. Yeah. You can use it that way. And how many? How much do these cost? Um, just depends on the size. The ones like this are eighteen dollars, and the ones like her are ten dollars. There's little five dollar ones and two dollar and um, three dollar ones. Those must be little miniatures. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever do any work to earn money? Special work? Yeah, yeah, I do. Like what? Well, um, sometimes every once in a while, I help mom weed, and I walk the dog. So you have you have some things you can do to help make yeah. money. Yeah. But eighteen that bucks is a lot. You're right. It's a long <laughs> time. To make oh, yeah. money. But then you know how hard it is to make money then. Yep. <laughs> yep. Now, I don't suppose you have a horse, a real one. Well, my aunt's supposed to be giving me one when it's three. And it's supposed to be three this year. And my mom says that if she forgets to give it to me, then I'm going to get a Mustang from Pierce College. And are these Mustangs that they, uh, they rounded up and are giving away because otherwise they would be killed? Yeah. And are they tame now? Um, are not they, really. Are they broken in? They're not broken in, but they can be kept in pins and stuff. Now where do you keep a horse? You're not in your house, not in your bedroom, right? Mm -mm. We've got um, corrals that we can keep them in. We've got a shed. And you love horses? Mm-hmm. Have you always loved horses? Yeah. Do you ride well? Oh, no, I don't ride too much. I just draw them and I play with my toy horses. So when you get your own horse, that must be a dream come true, huh? Mm, sort of. I'm kind of afraid of them, but not real afraid of them. Oh, you, you, you love horses mm. when they're still like this. <laughs> yeah. When they start moving, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> well, I like watching them on TV, like in the races and the horse shows. But I don't really like I don't really like it when they start trotting when you don't even want them to trot. Well, you have to learn to control that. Yeah. You got to be tough. <laughs> and know what you're doing. That takes a while. Yeah. Why do you think? I mean, so many girls, little girls, like horses. What What do you think? Why is that? I don't know. I mean. What first you got? What first got you interested? In? Oh, reading about them in books and watching them. They're just really neat to watch, and I'd love to watch them jump and race. This is a great hobby, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say so. Um, is there anything else that interests you besides horses? Yeah, um, I like, I'm in track, track and field, and I have a track meet coming up, and I can't wait till then. What are you going to run on the track? I'm going to run the 50-yard dash, the 100 yards, and maybe the 200 yards. Do you, do you, can you imitate a horse's at motion, uh, how a horse moves? Yeah, and I can imitate them how they um, how they speak to each other. How do they speak to each other? <laughs> That's how they talk to each other. Yeah, and when they whinny. How do they whinny? Like this. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> That's a pretty good whinny. I've <laughs> been doing it for a while. Oh, have you been whinnying for a while? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better than whining. <laughs> uh, can, can you get 
Can you um, go out here on the grass for a minute and show me how a horse works? Um, there's a lot of different gates, but there's one that goes up. What's this one? Um, I'll show you a canter. A canter, okay. Uh, do it, I tell you what, do it, do it this, go this way, back and forth, okay? Okay. All right, now come back to me. And that's a canter. Mm -hmm. Now what else? Um, there's trots and paces. My favorites are um, pacing and cantering. Let me see the pacing. Okay. And they lift their knees up very high, don't yeah. they, when they do that? Yeah, and they go pretty fast. Okay, that's terrific. Okay, okay. Yeah. You wouldn't be hard to control. You'd be a cinch. Yeah, a saddle on you would be wonderful. All right, <laughs> pull your chair in a little. Thank you. Um, does, does, uh, does anything ever frighten you or make you worried? Um, yeah, I get, I get worried when I'm riding the horse might start bucking because that's really freaky it's happened to me before yeah. and i get scared that i might fall off and get stepped on well aside from horses or anything else but... well i know this girl and she used to have a rottweiler this dog it was trained to kill it jumps like eight feet it's the biggest dog you ever saw like that big it's huge really freaky too especially when you try to get in the backyard Anything ever, do you ever have bad, scary dreams? Yeah, um, I've had dreams when, like, big gooey stuff comes in my room, and it gets everything all screwed up. And I mean, it messes everything up, and you can't fix it. And do you wake up in the middle of those dreams? Or? Sometimes. Yeah. Usually when the dog starts licking my face. <laughs> and I thank her for that. Maybe that's what you're feeling and you're making it into a yeah. dream anyway. We do that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what, um, do you have, do you have any problems with relationships with parents? A lot of kids complain about some of the problems they have with their parents. Do you ever have a... Well, every once in a while I try to get my mom to raise my allowance. <laughs> But other than that, we were, me and mom and dad, we get along pretty good. You've raised them well, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Do you believe in God? Yeah. You know sort of. It? Sort of? What yeah. Well, um, my sister doesn't believe in God, and, I, and she has a pretty good reason. She says that, um, that people just make up reasons for things that happen, like, um, there was once a god of thunder before they knew what thunder was, and then they found out, and there was no use for it anymore. So I sort of believe her, and I sort of don't, because <laughs> if there isn't God, then what put us on the earth? What started the whole thing? Yeah. What started? I mean, the dinosaurs and everybody else. And the stars? Yeah. And the universe. Well, when you think there is a God, mm -hmm. do you have a picture of that God? Oh, not really. Do you ever think of what happens to people after they die? Do you have a feeling about that? Yeah. Um, I believe um, that if you're a good person, you'll go to heaven. If you're not a girl person, a good person, you'll go to um, hell. That's what and, I think. And, and in heaven, what, what are you, do you look like you look now, or, or are you an angel, or what? I think you just look the same. You don't have wings or anything? No, I don't really think so. And you stay up there forever? Yeah, you stay up there unless you get reincarnated. What does that mean? It means um, when you die, you, you go back down to earth as something else. Something else? Yeah, like... I sort of think you could come back as an animal. Would you like to come back as a horse? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that would be neat. I figured that. <laughs> um, do you know who the governor of California is? No. You know who the mayor of Los Angeles is? Um, 
Tom Bradley, I think. Do you know how many senators there are from California? No. Do you know the capital city of California? I think it's Santa Barbara. I'm not sure. And uh, you know the, you know the President of the United States? <laughs> yeah. Who? George Bush. And do you know who the Vice President of the United States is? Um, Quail. I forgot his first name. Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle, right. And do you know what the first, you know what the uh, Bill of Rights is? The Bill of Rights. I've heard about it, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Well, you've been wonderful talking to us. I want to thank you so much. And I hope you get your horse. <laughs> thank you, John. Okay. Terrific. Um, how much have you got left? <laughs>